Hi, my name is Chris Fox. I'm with the Franklin County Soil and Water Conservation District, and we're here to talk to you about doing water testing for your well or cistern or even a pond. Uh, so pretty much anything that you want to test your water for, for water quality, um, we've got a sample here that, that you can use. Um, we are just the pickup and drop off site, and I'm not a professional, so if you have detailed questions about health concerns or testing your water, then you need to speak to a physician, your health care provider, or maybe the health department where you can contact the lab that, that we're dealing with, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, there's a lot of great resources online. You can look up Google well owner or private well owner. There's some great resources there. So uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we do and what we do offer. Um, we, do, we are a pickup site for well testing. Um, you will come collect the bottle and then go do your sample yourself and then bring it back to our office. They only collect on Fridays uh, in the morning, so you need to have your samples back here by 9 a.m just to ensure that it's going to get picked up and taken to the lab. All the results will go directly to you and all the payment goes directly to the lab. Um, we have a couple different options and I'm going to show you what we have here. Uh, most people are going to test for E. coli, a bacteria test for E. coli or coliform bacteria. That is what we call the drinking water test. And that's one of the most, most standard ones and one you, you should test for at least once a year anytime you notice any differences in your well water. Um, it'll be in our box here is where all our bottles are. Uh, it will be have a blue dot on the top um, that indicates it's a drinking water, and it's a sealed container. As you can see, it's got a little seal on it. It's, it's a sterile bottle. Um, so what you want to do is take off the, the information on, on the bottle. Um, there is a tablet in there. I'll leave that in there. And don't open the bottle till you collect it. And like I said, we'll only do samples on Fridays, and this needs to be a fresh sample. So draw that in the morning and then bring that in that morning by 9 a.m. Unless it's a holiday, we do that every Friday. Um, so your, the paperwork has, on, on the reverse side, it has some information about how to collect your samples. Um, basically, uh, you're going to want to let your water run for a while, um, but if you read that, it kind of explains how to do it, where to collect it. The, the bit, best advice is you're going to want to collect it from where you're going to draw it to drink, so like a kitchen sink or something like that. On the other side is going to be some contact information. As I mentioned, all this information goes directly to you. We don't get any of the results. Uh, you can have it emailed, faxed, or mailed. Um, email would be faster. It usually takes a week to 10 days is what we tell people. Uh, it just depends on the year. They do get busy during pool season. And then you'll uh, put some information about where you collect it, like the kitchen sink, a tap, wherever you collect it. Um, with the E. coli bacteria test, you have two options. You can do the total coliform present or absent. It's just going to give you a positive or negative result. Or you can do the total with count, which is going to tell you what your levels are. And um, the difference is that there are $20 for just the present or absence or $30 for the count. And the benefit of doing the, the more expensive one is that it's going to give you that level. So if you test again, you can kind of see if it's fluctuating. And that's totally up to you, which you choose, um, but just know the difference between those. There is an additional $5 handling fee for the transportation from our office to the lab. So you would add that, so your total would be $25. Uh, then you put your payment with this, cash or check. You can also do credit card if you fill that information out on the sheet. Uh, just make sure you have the exact amount if you do cash because we don't handle the money here in our office. And then you put that back on the bottle uh, so that it stays with your sample and put the rubber band back on that. And then, like I said, drop that off here to our office by 9 a.m. on a Friday. Um, and then they'll send you the results. If you have questions about the results, you can contact the lab. Uh, their name is HML. It's the Hoosier Microbiological Laboratory, I believe and they have their contact information on the, the order form here. There are other samples that you can do here. Um, one of the more common one uh, that, that a lot of places have to do, public places have to do this usually once a year or two if they have on a well system, is the nitrate test. Uh, as you can see, it's not a sterile bottle. It's not a biological test. It has an orange dot on top. Um, and similar process to how you fill out the order form and information on the back how to draw it. You'll have an option on, on this sheet for the nitrate or nitrites. Most people do the nitrate test. It is $25. Um, nitrates are, testing for them are important for a couple reasons. One is if you have an infant, um, it can cause blue baby syndrome. It can cause some problems with respiratory and breathing. Um, it also can be an indicator that you're getting some seepage into your well, maybe from fertilizer runoff, from a septic field, leach fields, things like that. So even if your E. coli test comes back good, this could indicate there could be something getting in there. So it's a benefit of doing this test as well if you haven't had it done. Um, 
there are quite a few other samples and tests you can do for, say, metals, uh, lead, arsenic, um, things like that, even tests for the pH. And so there's a variety of tests you can do. These are just two of the more common ones. Um, you can call the lab and ask more questions about that, or you can stop in the office and we can show you some of the other samples. But that's kind of the basic rundown of what, what we have here to offer. Um, like I said, you can ask us or you can contact the lab to, to get some more information, and, and I do encourage you to, to go online and look. Some of those resources will tell you how to maintain your well, things you can do to help keep that water quality good. So thanks for watching. Hope that answers your questions. Uh, stop in and we'll see what we can do.